Hi. What's going on, everybody? What's happening? Hi. Hi. I am back from London. Uh, Hi. And Hi. Hold on. And uh, I'm going to be speaking in a broken British accent going forward uh, for absolutely no reason whatsoever, even though I didn't mean to... S oh, I met like four British people when I was there. Uh, I did a podcast. I... Uh, like, I mean, the entire time I was in London Zone 1, which I believe is, like, uh, an incredible, incredibly diverse, very, is a product of multiculturalism. It's where all the, like, Eurocrats and the and the uh, plutocrats live, apparently, in, in London. So, uh, I didn't actually encounter that many British folk, or that many folk that had, um, like, a proper British accent. So, uh, I didn't really get to experience that part of it, and but I still want to be that guy who goes to um, who goes to a different part of the world and he's like, oh, well, now I have an accent. It's just normal. It's just normal things. Very normal. This is just how I am. I, I, I apologize that uh, I picked up on the British accent when I was there. It's not because I personally believe it's posh, but because, um, you know, it's just a matter of, of, uh, of being in this environment, you know? So, yeah, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at right now. Uh, anyway, guys, you already know what the deal is. I'm doing a quick, I'm doing a quick pregame right now for my Twitch um, at www.twitch.tv. For those of you who are just joining right now, I'm going to be going live at www.twitch.tv/hasanabi shortly. Um, this is just one of those instances. Hold on, let me pin that comment for people to also see and like easily click that link. It's just another. Uh, platform. Oh shit! This is like slowly. <laughs> I just realized that my my uh, my phone was like slowly tilting away from my face. Uh, anyway, so that's uh, usually that's what I do. Um, hey, Hassan, when is Politicon? Politicon is on October the weekend of October twentieth. So it's only a week away, guys. It's almost a week away, and I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna be debating Charlie Kirk. Actually, I wrote about Charlie Kirk today, and get excited for that video. Uh, that's gonna be coming out soon. I wrote about Charlie Kirk and, and the, the uh, flagrant hypocrisies of, of conservative speakers who tell celebrities to shut the fuck up all the time, but then turn around and are like, oh my God, Kanye, I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> um, uh, and, and hype up like uh, that believe that only certain celebrities uh, have a right to their opinion or have a right to run for the presidency and become the president and then be regarded as the most successful president of all time, <laughs> which... You know, Donald Trump and also Ronald Reagan. Those are celebrities that became politicians that are, and they're like the two fucking um, most loved uh, Republican political figures, perhaps of all time. I do think that, will there be a way to view the debate live? I don't know. I'm not entirely certain, but I will get back to you guys on that. Hold on. Let me just like mute my audio here. Uh, I actually have a really cool interview coming up as well, where I will be interviewing Destiny. Um, probably a lot of you guys have no idea who this person is, which is understandable, but, uh, I really like his stuff. I've been watching his debates. He debates a lot of people on the internet. He debates a lot of like, uh, he's, uh, originally a Starcraft pro player. And, um, but in the meantime, oops, sorry. Would you vote for the rock Oprah? No, I wouldn't. I, I don't, I don't like billionaires despite, uh, whatever, uh, their personal, uh, politics may be. I, I still am like anti-billionaire when it comes to, well, on that front. That's my... That's my perspective. I guess I'm, I guess it's bad, but um, I'm not sure if this is the right time to ask, but is there a way to actually get Brett Kavanaugh off the Supreme Court? Yes, there is. There's an impeachment process for Brett Kavanaugh, but the only way we could even arrive at that is if we ha uh, hold uh, a, a majority uh, in the Senate. I don't even know if the impeachment proceedings uh, can start with a, with a simple majority. I don't know if we need a super majority for that. Um, but I also do think that like Democrats are completely ineffective when it comes to that sort of uh, when it comes to that sort of like serious altercations uh, within the Republican Party. The Republicans are are vicious. They're very good at this sort of stuff. Mitch McConnell, especially, obviously, as you guys know, they denied they stole a Supreme Court seat from uh, a democratically elected president, which is something that a lot of people forget. Um, anyway, 
Americans, please don't come to London and then think you can do a British accent. You can't. Britain is uglier now that you have left, HB. Well, thank you, Darren Ethington. <laughs> Darren Etherington. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you very much, sir. My good sir. Um, best way to energize those who think their vote doesn't count. Um, have uh, Democrats actually care and speak to their constituencies, especially the progressive base that is super mobilized right now. Uh, that is one way to like re-energize uh, people by like vocalizing what the actual issues are and like what the steps you need to take as far as like preventative legislation goes or what kind of steps that you need to take as far as like progressive fiscal policies go. These are things that we need to do. Uh, I think we don't hold politicians accountable uh, for, for what they're saying. And we, uh, we're, we're kind of, uh, used to this defeatist mentality when it comes to electoral politics, where we're like, well, they're better than the other guy. So you have to vote for them, which for a lot of people, um, neither party uh, makes a lot of sense for them. It's understandable. They're like d economically disenfranchised regardless. So they're like, why the fuck would I vote? I have to work anyway. Um, and, and neither party holds my best interest at heart. Obviously this doesn't, uh, pertain to, to, um, communities that are marginalized by like their ethnic background or, or, um, or because of their gender or, or because of their sexuality. Those are, uh, those are, those communities usually are, are more likely to vote for, um, uh, Democrats. The be probably the best example of this is like the the uh, black female constituency that is firmly held. It's like the base of the uh, democratic constituents. Um, but yeah, I think uh, an emphasis needs to be placed upon the politicians who are messaging, you know what I mean? They're who, who need to be effectively communicating their ideas in a better way and actually have um, a, a willingness to fight not only for social justice, but economic justice as well. And I think that's a big problem within the democratic party right now. Um, but that's changing. There, I am I am a little hopeful. So I will say that. There is a lot of uh, progressive mobilization happening within the Democratic Party. And the opposition from the establishment has been, like, relatively uh, peaceful so far. Maybe some people will disagree with me and say that that's ridiculous. Do you think America is ready for a more liberal president? Becky, I think America is ready for a, a socialist president. Um, and the, the reality is, like, we're just... Um, I don't think capitalism in the way we understand it is going to survive any anymore because uh, in the internet era when people are like aware of systemic inequalities and aware of their position in the world and in regards to the rest of the planet, it's very difficult to continue this, uh, this, this system that is inherently oppressive and cannot continue without exploitation of labor. So I do believe that. I think that, um, yes, we are ready, not a liberal president, but a, a, more, a more socialist president. And I, I believe that that's like, the thing is, that is the only way to combat um, right-wing populism that we're seeing right now, which is nativism. Right-wing populism always seeps into authoritarianism and nativism. Uh, Left-wing populism in the form of like real, true economic populism, something that even Barack Obama mentioned, uh, for example, is, um, is, the only, is the only way to effectively fight against this. Um, also, yeah, Edward Arthur, uh, I do agree with you. Capitalism will fail and climate change is what will make it fail. Yes, climate change is exacerbating some of the, the unavoidable realities uh, of, of capitalism. And like, if we continue down this line, we are seeping closer and closer into like authority, I mean, uh, like fascism even domestically. We usually have imported our fascism to other countries. We go there and we like, uh, we, we cause devastation uh, globally. And, and we, um, I would love for you to debate Candace Owens, the new Tommy Lauren. Uh, well, I'm going to be debating Charlie Kirk, who is her boss. So anyway, so there's that. But yeah. Let's uh, get my Twitch stream started. So my Twitch stream already started on the other side, so you guys can go over there as well. Um, also, I would recommend you go to my Discord. Uh, is there anything you wish to see America take away from London's governmental system? Um, I think London's governmental system, or like England has its own set of issues, obviously, but uh, I, I am an advocate for the parliamentary system. I think uh, like a poly-party system is still going to be better than two parties um, because it has a... Uh, the kind of compromises that you inevitably make uh, during governance are, are, I guess, better when there are 
active uh, coalition building. There's like active coalition building happening on both the left and the right. Um, I mean, all governments inevitably uh, have stalemates, uh, but but ultimately, I think like a parliamentary system would be better. Uh, obviously, as far as like uh, London or as far as England's uh, like economic understanding, the system that they live under is way closer to a social democracy than the United States, which is like a fucking uh, which is a capitalist hellhole. So. Where, where we essentially have the fucking Hunger Games for um, for certain things like healthcare, which every other developed nation and even undeveloped or underdeveloped nations fucking offer around the country, around the world. So of course there are certain things that I appreciate about London and or appreciate about in, uh, English politics. So you know, there's that uh, Sparky Dust. Oh shit, hold on. Thanks for that. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I um, like I said, guys, I'm um, I'm moving over to my Twitch right now. I'll probably have this. Um, we'll burn up the earth from pollution. Yeah, exactly. Like the the climate change is is, is uh, exacerbating. Like global capitalism is devastating the the world in in meaningful ways. But one of the most meaningful ways that we don't really talk about, especially here in the United States, is climate change. <clears throat> it's coffee, Brett. I'm I'm drinking coffee. So. Um, Socialism is the same like communism for America. Yeah, that's it's so weird. It, it, it's so weird that people like here in the United States have this like serious educational gap that was purposely created, by the way, uh, during the Red Scare and the, during the ideological warfare that the United States engaged in in an effort to ensure that like global capitalism, uh, like systems were set up in a way to maintain global capitalism. So um, the the outcome of that, of course, domestically has led to people not knowing what the fuck socialism is and and, and not being able to distinguish between socialism and, and communism. Um, that's obviously a problem. It's not even like the biggest issue, I don't think. The biggest problem right now is that like Democrats also are a part of very much a part of the system and also upholding capitalism versus like in other countries you have Democrats who are like openly communist, they're openly socialist, like they provide a viable opposition, they provide viable alternatives. Do you see what I'm saying? Versus like in America, both sides are kleptocrats, both sides are still propping up the same corporate benefactors in the end of the day, and that's the biggest problem, and that's part of the reason for political inaction. That's part of the reason why a lot of people feel as though their votes don't matter. Um, and that's, that's something I talk about uh, a lot, obviously. Um, so I just wanted to bring that back to like your original point. Do you think that Dems that openly support socialism might have less of a chance and may push more people to vote Republicans is, that how, is how America is right now? Um, not necessarily. I think Democrats need to also effectively message uh, why socialism isn't bad. Like you see it with Bernie Sanders. He does a very good job. He like tied, it wasn't just about socialism. He, it wasn't like an ideological position that he had. He, um, he, he essentially tied it to policies free college, free healthcare. These are all very popular ideas. These are all things that other countries around the world, not the wealthiest countries, by the way, we are the fucking wealthiest country, but other countries around the world have been able to instill the, those those policies without like damaging uh, their their economy. It's kind of ridiculous that we still think in this day and age that, that America is not capable of doing this, but we have no problems spending uh, upwards of, uh, tr you know, six to eight trillion dollars on, on genocide in the fucking Middle East. Like, it's all about priorities. It's, it's, it's maddening to me that, that we don't have any, it's not a priority for Americans to, to heal this nation, um, but it is absolutely a priority for Americans to fucking cause global devastation. I didn't mean to rhyme that. I don't know why that worked that way, that worked out that way, but um, anyway, so yeah, like I, I think that, I think that works. All right, hold on, I gotta, um, oh shit. Well, I have to, I have to turn off my stream here on Facebook so I can go on um, on my discord right now. So I apologize for everyone, but I'm, uh, I'm going live right now on my, on my, uh, on my Twitch stream. I already went live, but I'm, I'm going live at the moment. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but hold on. I gotta like, Let's see if I can put this somewhere else that's like a little bit better. Oops. Oh, uh, 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 I'm having a hard time. Of course, as always. Let's see, is this better? Nope, that's not better. Nope, that's not better either. I right, gotta put this back here then. Fuck it. 
There we go. absolutely madness right now. I'm just an average guy who read What's going on everybody? How's everyone doing? I'm back. We're back. It's my Monday, even though it's not Monday, it's actually Tuesday, but for me, it's virtually Monday. My hair is gone absolutely batshit banana boat crazy, and I apologize for that. My trip was great. Yes, Papa is back. Father is back. I'm here. I'm here to talk to you guys. Uh, I, I, I did a stream later last night, like I did a, another stream earlier. Um, last night, I uh, it was like around 9 p.m., I think, immediately after I... Uh, immediately after I came back from London. That's the kind of dedication that you need to have from, um, from your streamers, okay? People that travel for 12 hours that come and, and instantly sit down in front of their computer before they unpack and then, uh, and then fucking start streaming on Twitch, okay? So that's what <laughs> turned down for what, mate? Um, anyway, it's virtually Monday in Canada too. Uh, so we have an interesting day today. I'm gonna do something. I'm I'm gonna actually talk to a Twitch streamer, a very famous Twitch streamer by the name of Destiny. He's live right now as well. He's like a professional StarCraft player. I am very excited to talk to him. I've watched a lot of his debates. Um, so we're gonna do that at five. Uh, anyway, by the way, uh, everybody on Facebook, this is the point. This is the point where I wave you guys, wave to you guys goodbye, and just go over to Twitch. And if you guys want to also uh, follow me on there, you should. I'm gonna be on for like another three to four hours on there at my Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash Hasanabi. Uh, thank you so much for joining me on my Facebook, but uh, goodbye for now.